evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. In tonight's news, the Tullamo Wildcats host Montgomery Central in the second round of the TSSAA playoffs. The annual Eli Grove Foundation Run, Walk, and Rook 5K went off without a hitch last Saturday, and the curtain is about to rise for Tullamo High School's first play in over a year and a half. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. I feel like we're safe at Parkview. There's somebody on staff all the time. So if you need help, help us there. We are surrounded with people that are looking after us and, and taking care of us. The staff is wonderful and always available. We feel so safe and secure here. I feel safe at Parkview all the time. The City of Tullahoma wants you to be a part of the Think Tullahoma 2040 team. You are invited to a series of public meetings on Thursday, November 11th at the Tullahoma High School from 6 until 9 p.m. and on Monday, November 15th, also at Tullahoma High School from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Help plan your city. The first meeting will be a workshop facilitated by the Walker Collaborative Consultants and on November 15th, they will reveal the draft concept plan. Go to TullahomaTN.gov to learn more. Hope to see you there. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us an outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. Tullahoma High School advances to the second playoff game this weekend against Montgomery Central. The Wildcats defeated Montgomery Central 37-7 during the regular season. John Gray spoke with Coach John Olive about what we should expect in the rematch. Montgomery Central, who we played before and, and beat this year, won their game, and so they're going to be coming here next week, right? That's correct. Montgomery Central will, will return here next week. Next week, uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes it a little bit easier to tailgate out there in the front. <laughs> uh, it will be pitch black dark though because we're gonna fall back here in the next 24 hours. And, yes, sir. Uh, so uh, welcome to winter time in uh, Southern Middle Tennessee as uh, it'll be uh, dark between uh, 4.45 and 5 o'clock That's probably. It. So uh, the ball game will be under the, under the lights and uh, I think um, uh, may have a set of lights uh, out there where T-Town takes place out in front of the stadium where right. people can see. Um, the tickets stay the same. You'll go to GoFan for the ones of you that like buying it electronically and just show your phone and have them uh, cash your ticket off your phone. Um, and for the ones who like the old fashioned, you just want to walk up and buy your ticket and hand it to a gatekeeper, uh, that'll still be available right. to you. Eight and ten dollars again, just like that was. Montgomery Central, it's a fellow uh, region team, but they're new to our region. Um, so we've only seen each other one time. Uh, and that was earlier in week eight. Uh, we uh, uh, were able to beat them in week eight, but if you remember, we started the game off trying to run a reverse on the kickoff and right. rumbled it, and they right. uh, score. Uh, if I remember right, it was seven to seven with three minutes and something to go in the half. Uh, we were able to kick a field goal to go up 10 to seven, and then, uh, we recover a fumble, we score 17-7, and then we um, actually get an interception, and then I think we throw an interception on the very next play uh, down deep in their territory. Uh, so anyway, it was nip and tuck. Uh, we finally get up on top of them, I believe 20 to seven, and finally put them away in the second half. Right. and. Uh, a really, really good defensive team. Uh, they're going to have their 
best running back back. He did not play against us in the first game. We're going to have Brody Melton and Ian Poe back, who did not play against them in the first game. So, ought to be fun, ought to be exciting. And, and everybody, else, round. everybody else is healthy. Uh, as of right now. As of right you know, now. You just... Uh, with, and that's incredible to play a 10-game uh, ten season plus your first game in the playoffs and, and not have anybody banged up on the bench that won't see service. It's a... We're very fortunate We're to be very, in that position. Very fortunate, but that's what you got to have if you're going to make a deep make run. A, mm -hmm. You know, uh, one of the most interesting things stated about Elizabeth and last year in the state championship game, as Elizabeth and uh, was only end up becoming a two-time state champion. Uh, that run of 30 games in that two-year time period. They had zero starters miss a game. That's for, that's pretty incredible. None miss a game. None miss a game. Uh, that's in, that's phenomenal. Uh, that's what they and that that just jumped out at me. How in the world were you able to play 30 games and every starter be available um, from a non-injury? I do think that they had a couple of starters miss because of COVID right. uh, tracing and so forth. But as far as actual physical injuries, keeping them off the field, right. uh, zero for a two year time period. And that's pretty awesome. That's, so you, good. that's what you got to have though. If you're going to have a state championship team, you got to have some things go your way and injuries is one of those things you got to have go your way. Montgomery Central is going to be back in Tullahoma. And they don't want to come down here and get beat again in Tullahoma. They're playing with an extra player or so. But we are in stride and ready to attack as well on our run into the playoffs. Uh, be sure that you uh, come to the ball game. Be part of what's going on. This could be a, a long, a long drawn out thing. We hope it's just drawn out all the way to the bitter end. We like to play through the month of November. Yes, we would. Like to have we fun certainly doing that. Would. And uh, you know, come be a part of the environment. Make yourself a part of the environment. That's what makes it unique. You know, uh, when I was talking to the uh, Chester County coach, he says, "Coach, we understand it's a great environment uh, there at Tullahoma." And I was talking to him on the phone Thursday morning. And so the word's out. And that's what our opponents are saying. I talked to the Greenbrier coach, and he told me just how impressed their people were with our program, our pregame, the Wildcat Walk at 610, et cetera. Um, it's just a, it's, it's a neat environment that we've got going. and. Come be a part of it. If you're That's already right. a part of it, keep it keep it happening. And we'll be right back after these messages. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcome. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life-enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. The Bookshelf in Tullahoma is the fundraising arm of the Coffee County Literacy Council. Since 1988, the Literacy Council's goal and purpose has been to support and promote adult basic education in Coffee County. We enable individuals to complete their high school equivalency exam, which helps them get better jobs or continue into higher education. The Bookshelf at 114 Southwest Atlantic Street in Tullahoma is where we sell used books, which are donated to us by the community. Come see us, bring your books to donate, and join us as you find every genre of books that you can imagine. We tend to lose our motivation when we have something that's chronic, but you've got to do what you can early on as you can. After I'd exercise like that, I would have a lot of energy to do housework or whatever I needed. Well, I would recommend it highly to anyone at any degree of Parkinson. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. 
Welcome back. During Saturday's fifth quarter show, Coach John Olive talked about how ticket sales revenues are divvied up by the TSSAA during the playoffs. Is it more beneficial for the Tullahoma High School football program to buy your ticket online or buy it and pay cash for it at the stadium? And I didn't have a clue, so I posed that question to you. Okay. TSSAA sets the ticket prices and um, the ticket price has been $8. Uh, the TSSAA would like for everybody to go to electronic ticketing. Uh, so you right now through GoFan buy an $8 ticket plus you pay whatever the handling fee is, right. convenience fee or whatever you want to call it which I think is $1.40, so it's a $9.40 right, ticket. Right. Uh, to drive people towards electronic tickets, they've set a $10 cash ticket gate price. ticket. And so um, that means that you can save $0.60 cents per ticket by buying it online which is what they want you to do. And then um, the ticket distribution stays the same. We take all the monies that come in, whether it be through electronic tickets, cash ticket, broadcasting rights, et cetera. Um, and all that money goes into uh, that game's financial report. When in, we file that financial report on Monday morning, the TSSAA gets 50%. Chester County gets 25% and Tullahoma High School gets 25%. So in answer to your question, uh, $8 ticket, we get $2 off an $8 ticket. Uh, on the $10 ticket, we get $2.50. So we actually make 50 cents uh, more by you buying a cash ticket. Cash ticket. At the, and that's at the, the game. question the gentleman was so, asking. That was a long answer, but. Well, I'm, I'm, but, it's, but it was well explained. Basically, TSSAA gets half the money, and the two football teams split the rest of it. That's correct. One they, team has to travel and the other one has the expense of putting on a ball game. That's correct. And so uh, you, you, as a home team, the biggest advantage you get is you get the concessions. Right. So our quarterback club and our band boosters get concessions. Right. TSSAA doesn't get they it. They don't that. get any of that money. That is all Telehoma money. Right. And going to good causes. Right. So. And so you take a traveling team like uh, like the team that came in here last night, and they're three hours away from here. Uh, they're by renting a bus, buying a meal before the ball game for all these kids, and after the ball game. And so they come here and they get twenty five percent. They're probably losing money coming over here to play. Uh, my guess is last night Chester County will end up running at a negative on right. that game, and. Um, your best hope is, and at least my experience has been, is that you try to break even when you come out of the playoffs. That, you know, if you made 6000 extra dollars, you have probably spent, spent 6000 $6, extra dollars. <laughs> what you don't want to do is spend 8000 <clears throat> extra dollars right, right. and only bring in six. Right. And so your hope is, is that, uh, I know when our girls basketball made it to the sectional, a uh, couple of years ago, uh, when it was all said and done with postseason basketball play, uh, we had like eighty-seven dollars to the positive left over. But that's uh, good. But that's good because <laughs> we tried to make it to where it was uh, really special and important for them to know how special it was for them to make it to the sectional. Right. And. Uh, and at the same time, we were able, when you take all the postseason play monies, we were able to still be $87 to the good. More news is coming up in a moment. It's not invoice.
It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. John Gray went out to the annual Eli Grove Foundation's Run, Walk, and Rock 5K last Saturday where participants were helping raise money for a new sports facility at Tullahoma High School. John spoke with several participants along with event organizer Cassie Grow. <laughs> it must be the Deckelman Express coming oh through town. God. Hey, right man, here. you look good. What are you doing? You look are you good. Run, are you running, walking, sure. or rucking? I'm not sure if you're the guy I think you are. Huh, me? I'm, uh, I'm walking and riding. Walking and riding? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Where's this going? Where's it going? <laughs> oh, well, you're live right now in New York. This is Saturday morning. <laughs> Not Saturday night. This is Saturday morning, live in Tullahoma. What are you doing, John? I'm doing well. Yeah. Just you down know, here. You to, look good. You look thank mobile. You, thank you. I'm mobile. I'm down here to check on Cassie yeah. and Tony and all them. these great people doing what they're doing for the Eli them. Grove Foundation. I love them. I love them. Well, gonna, did you see we're it? We're going to get a report. We're doing yoga next year. Yes, John. We're doing yoga next year. Good. That's good. I'm already pumped. You're pumped. I am. That's, I'm that's, right that is an oh, exact God. quote from the Deckel Man. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm down at Tullahoma High School track. We just finished doing the John Olive fifth quarter show, and this is the Eli Grow annual run, walk, and ruck event at the high school track to raise funds for the Eli Grow Foundation and to build a building, a training facility for all athletes at Tullahoma High School. What's up, John? All right, here's Cassie Grow right here. Tell us what hap what's happening today. Well, we're here at the Eli Grow Legacy 8K, and it's going great. Going great. Seems like a lot of people are here. You've been yes. at it since, what, 8 o'clock? Pretty much. Yes, yeah. I was a little late this morning, so I created chaos. Yeah, John Olive and I just got through in the, doing the John Olive show. Awesome. So awesome. I, saw, I saw Coach over here checking things out, and I just wanted to get by. And make sure we got a good report and everything's it's going, going great, well. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're close to 300. I don't know the total number, so it's it's even more than last year. So I'm super excited for the community support. Very good. And where's yes. Tony? He's around. I don't know. He may come uh, to help raise him. You just with the hide cars. him every year. Oh, no, every he's been year. right here. He's been right here until just a little while ago. So. Okay. Well, Cassie, thank you for what you do. And thank, thank you, the community for so the, the support they're giving for something that is really wonderful, not just for football and not just for students but for everybody in the community a facility where people can train That's right. and 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 take better care of themselves. That's exactly right. Thank you darling. Thank you. You're the best. Love you, <laughs> Love you Miss Fran. <laughs> All right some of the folks are coming in off the trail now they're playing <laughs> cornhole and they're walking different ones and Cassie's here getting ready to make some announcements and no telling where Tony is, but uh, this is this is to raise money for the Eli Grove Foundation and the building of a facility at Tullahoma High School for all sports. Look at those pretty, the pretty. Oh, look at that lovely girl right there with the pom poms. Isn't this great? The run, walk, and ruck for Eli Grove Foundation. Get you, James Fuller. Somebody's coming up on you there. 
There's a lot of them coming in on the finishing the run. And they're coming through the gate. Starting to come in off the trail. Good job. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. The City of Tullahoma wants you to be a part of the Think Tullahoma 2040 team. You are invited to a series of public meetings on Thursday, November 11th at the Tullahoma High School from 6 until 9 p.m. and on Monday, November 15th, also at Tullahoma High School from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Help plan your city. The first meeting will be a workshop facilitated by the Walker Collaborative Consultants, and on November 15th, they will reveal the draft concept plan. Go to TullahomaTN.gov to learn more. Hope to see you there. The individuals with dementia, those with Parkinson's, those that have maybe mobility issues, need caregivers. Well, those caregivers are 24 hours a day at home, and they never get a rest. And if they have to go to work, they're kind of out of luck. So that's why Trinity came into existence 25 years ago, to allow the caregivers to have a safe center where they could put their loved ones, know they would be well cared for, stimulated, fed good nutritious meals, have activities to their level, and then the caregiver can stop by and pick them up and go on home and have some continuity into their life. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. For the first time in more than a year, the curtain will officially go up this week when the Tullahoma High School Theater Department presents its fall production of 12 Angry Jurors. For Benjamin Spurlock, this will be his first production as head of theater at Tullahoma High School. While he's ready to get the shows underway, he also stated that he's more ecstatic to see his students on stage in front of an audience. Spurlock said, quote, I'm extremely excited to see them perform. For a lot of these kids, it's been so long since they've been able to perform a big show. Getting to see them, specifically the seniors, find their rhythm again after so long has been an amazing experience. I'm very excited to see them put on this show. This play addresses some social issues from the 1950s when it was written that still resonate today. It's been nice delving into the story, teaching the kids history through the play, and allowing them to see how some of the issues are still relevant today, end quote. Several of the cast members expressed their excitement ahead of Thursday's first show. Senior Tucker Johnson, who plays juror number three, said he has thoroughly enjoyed the rehearsal process and looks forward to this week's performance. The plot of 12 Angry Jurors centers around the responsibility of 12 ordinary people as they consider, consider the guilt or innocence of a young man accused of murder. During the production, these 12 jurors deliberate and contemplate the life or death decision. Jules or Orihula, a senior who is also the stage manager for the show, described it as, quote, the show is basically everyone yelling at each other constantly, but it's in a good way because you're seeing people get to a single decision. As everyone knows, getting 12 people to decide unanimously on one thing is pretty hard. So it's interesting, end quote. During their discussions, each of the 12 jurors bring their own history, prejudice, and bias into the jury room as they contemplate the verdict. Senior Lauren Rogers, who plays juror number eight, said she loved working on this production and st stated that she can't wait for the performance to get underway. Ahead of the first performance, Perlock said, the cast and their parents, as well as some additional theater students, have worked tirelessly on the production. 
While rehearsals took place, the cast and crew aided in set construction and costume designs. Spurlock says that he is extremely proud of all these students and their parents for helping, er, helping every step of the way and is ex excited for the play to begin. The play will run from Thursday, November the 11th until Sunday, November the 14th. Showtime on Thursday and Friday is 7.30 p.m. Saturday will feature two performances, one at 3 p.m. and another at 7.30 p.m. Sunday will be only a matinee performance at 3 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults, $10 for seniors and veterans, and $5 for children 12 years old or younger. Tullahoma City School faculty and high school students will receive free admittance when they show their school ID. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up next. One thing about Park View, we could bring our animal out there with us. It would have been a deal breaker if we had not been able to take Gracie. Yeah, we would not have gone. If you want to do something, there's something to do most of the day. You shouldn't get bored. I really enjoy my life here at Park View. I really choose what I want to do. We have a wonderful library with hundreds of books that I love. It is a wonderful place. We're losing it, Doctor! Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation! It's gonna be okay! Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one! Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. There's a lot of talk about the risks associated with the COVID-19 vaccine, but the reality is, it's safer than going for a run. Give it a shot. Find a free appointment today at covid19.tn.gov. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on the study. Our record high was in 2019 at 77 degrees. The record low was in 1913 at 60, 16 degrees. Average high on this day is 62, and the average low is 38. For tonight, expect for clearing weather with a low of around 37. On Friday, sunny weather in the forecast with a high of 61 and a low of 33. Sunny weather continuing in the forecast for Saturday with a high of 49 and a low of 29. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday at 6, 8, and 10. For News Leader on 6, you have a good evening.